Hello guys, welcome to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I am indeed starting a new series called Legend of Zelda the Ocarina of Time, which we are starting today, so I'm actually going to go in there and delete a world. Yep, race. Oh, sadness. It's a shame. That's fine. New game. His name is Link, so we're putting it Link. Yes. Alright, saving. We're going to jump right into the game. Alright, let's start. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. That's us, guys. Oh, that, that's, that, that, that's nasty noises. I'm not doing this 100% commentary by the, uh, walkthrough, by the way. Like, I'm not getting the Sculptulas, but I will do the uh, side quests and obviously the main story. But I'm not doing all that gold Sculptula and stuff. That's, that's kind of too much for me. Oh no! Some green guys come. Ah! Uh, I'm really going dramatic. You guys can totally feel me. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. It was all a dream, I think. What was it? Oh, Navi, the fairy, listen to my words. The words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon this realm. He, he, he kind of talks like a bad guy, but he's not a bad guy. Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the, time order, pff, the order of the world. Let's move this back a little bit. But before this tremendous evil, even my power is at nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the world, nay. The world, no, the fate, that. The fate of the forest, nay. The world depends upon thee. You guys are probably all like, oh, Shakespeare in English. That's not right. The game, that's actually really the only time there's Shakespeare in English. There's really no Shakespeare in English in this game at all, even though it is kind of like a medieval game. Hello! Hello, do you do? Alright, well, this is Kokiri Forest, where our hero lives. I like this kind of cutscene. It looks really cool in 3D, but 3D doesn't look so good when I'm filming it, so no 3D for you guys. Hello, Link, wake up! This is a girl fairy, by the way. The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you, Link, get up! Link does not talk, by the way. Kind of weird. Hey, come on! But in every Zelda game, Link does not talk. Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? I will be trying to do voices for all the characters, make them all different. He sounds like a girl. He's not a girl. And this is not Zelda, his name is Link. You finally woke up. I'm Navi the Fairy. The great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. It's very nice to meet you. The great Deku Tree is telling you. Let's get going right now. Let's go. We're going. Right now. Alright, finally. Good play. Whee! I will try to keep it steady. Is that at all times? But it, if it moves a little bit, I apologize. Alright, but here it is. The Kokiri Forest. And there is Saria, right away. Yahoo! Hi, Link! Yeah, so let's go see Saria, who's down below. And there are a lot of things I want to show you guys, the controls for this game. This is Ocarina of Time 3D, so if you are trying to follow along with the N64 version, um, 
make them all work. Wow, a fairy! How'd you talk? Finally, a fairy came to you, Link. Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Let's kiss. Wait, what? No, I, I, I didn't say that. No, we're, we're friends. Okay. Now you're a true co-carry, Link. Is that right? The great Deku Tree has summoned you. She sounds like she's like a gun to her head and she has to say this. It's quite an honor to talk to the great Deku Tree. Did you know that, Link? Do you know? I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the great Deku Tree. There's some stuff we have to do, though, before we see the Deku Tree. We don't have a sword. We don't have a shield. Uh, we have absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, first off, I'm going to show you something very interesting. Oh, the great Deku Tree has summoned you. Please come with me. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about you. There is a dinosaur. Completely irrelevant to the whole game. I don't know why that's there. So yes, onwards. Let us venture throughout the unknown Hyrule. Um, can you talk to the people by hitting A to talk? That meanie Mito was making me cut the grass at Saria's house. Mito told Saria he would do it so she didn't do no work. You and Saria are close friends. Will you help me cut the grass? If you keep anything, you find while cutting it. No, I don't. No, stop, stop. I don't care. You could grab leaves, I think. I can't do it. I'm weak. Alright. No, I'm gonna get a sword for you guys. Actually, yeah, that's done. There's some hearts in here. But we don't need hearts because we have full health. Yeah, you guys can't see the bottom screen. Uh, I mean, if it's really important and you really have to see the bottom screen, I will tilt it. And the jump is actually. That was fail. You guys know I'm bad at parkour. No, this jump is actually automatic. I'm not pressing any buttons there. Hey, Link, look this way. Look over here with Alan talking to you with A. Yes, yes, that's how I use a fairy. You're so great. You finally have a partner. Please, you give me love. I'll teach you how to talk to people using your fairy. What if you, yeah, you, you, you pause the video if you want to see what they're saying. All right. Okay, cool. So this is a shop. Welcome. Thank you. Buy things. We currently have zero rupees, and yes, rupees is in Indian money, although it's not like that. But it is the same word, rupees. Different currency, though. All right, so we can automatically get some rupees by going this way. If I can go this way, there's. A, I probably could have just gone around the other way instead of having to. Go. Yeah, I probably could have done that. And guys, um, I hope you guys really like this. Please don't fail. Oh, God. We have five rubies. Hehe, <laughs> you came all the way up here. You're a real man. Look, isn't this you pretty? Change your viewpoint with me. <laughs> See you around the forest? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> There are some rupees actually over here in the bush, so you could just roll around and get some. Cool. And then you can visit the houses, but there's really nothing in there for us. Here is some forest training center. Don't recklessly cut the signs. Read them carefully. We're going to go in there and we're going to get a sword. Um, you can come back to this later. It's kind of sword training, but right now we're going to enter. <laughs> Viewpoint with L targeting, when you have no object to look at, you can just look forward with L. Stop moving and then change the direction you are facing or hold down L for a little while. This can help you with him. Hey, you pause it. I don't know. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, he's sideways. You know, turn around. Okay. There are boulders coming for us, so. Oh, God. Not Lee. Oh, that was fail. <laughs> Yeah. Use L. Don't don't be like me. There it is. Let's read the sign. Visit House of Know-It-All Brothers to get the answers to all your item-related questions. The famous Zelda music. Do 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 the Kokiri Blade. Alright guys, I'll show you how this works. Um hit gear and this is all we have. <laughs> So select this, and it is your sword, and then there's also a map, but so far we only have unlocked this place. And there's items, so we have absolutely nothing. I'll put this back down. So now use B to slash your sword, and yes, you can break signs. 
You can repair them, but that's for later. So we gotta do that later. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've... Stop. Yeah. I wish I could kill you. Be your big rock. And I can't do that. Um. Oh god. <laughs> Sneaking around. I apologize if you guys, like, see my fingers or anything. Oh, wait, now let's do some sword training. Where's that kid who does the sword training? First of all, we can cut grass, which can give us rupees occasionally. Just not in my case. Come on, come on. There we go. Breaking signs will... You won't be able to read them, but if you leave and then come back in, the signs will be fixed. Okay, cool. Hey, we'll have to work on some moves. You jump sideways while targeting L. Press A to jump, move, backflip. You roll, tack. Sword, target, target, stone, me, you, practice. Alright. We're gonna do some of that, though. Oh, I don't wanna fight you, kid. I can't fight you. Oh my god, it's hard, it's hard to hold R. I need a little filling. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oops, I'm actually. So that is attack. Kind of simple, kind of straightforward. Yes. Um, how many rupees do we have? We have 28 rupees. Um, yeah, you can go in houses, and there are some rupees in there. Depends what house you go into, but there are rupees in some houses. Yep. That's one rupee, thanks. So helpful. Blue rupee, five rupees. Fantastic. That's five rupees. Recovery heart. Yay, because I was getting beaten up. You can't use swords in houses, actually. Well, it depends what. You can in buildings, but just not houses. Kind of makes sense. No? Eh, 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 eh. You can't kill people. <laughs> I've tried. Yeah, I think we should check out the shop and see how much a shield is, because that's what we need. Now that we have a, uh, a sword, we need a shield, and that's how we can go visit the guy. And that's 40 rupees. We have... Oh, we only need one more rupee, guys. We have 39 rupees. So let's go out there and at the bottom of the lake... Uh, not really the lake. There is a rupee somewhere. I'll find it. No, I'll just, I'll just hack these bushes. Really cool move is... Holding, holding. Yeah. We'll upgrade that later. Oh, I can't kill the one he's working on. Call the bushwhacker. Uh, this is kind of cool. It can give you a glimpse of the future, and by that, it basically means it can help you if you're stuck. But we'll use that when we're actually stuck. I'm not going to use that now. I know what to do. All right, perfect. Now we can go into the shop, buy our shield, and then in the next episode, we can be off. To visit the great Deku. Welcome. Yep. Awesome. Nope. I'm good. I'm gonna go to gear and I'm gonna select the shields. So guys, I will give you a quick tutorial on how to use the shield, it's quite straightforward. Hold on R to put it in front of you. You use it to block incoming blasts or shots, and if you're gonna attack by an enemy, you know, you can move it around, you can moon a little bit, like, yeah, it's not really mooning. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this series, uh, yep, yeah, we can talk to this guy and you want to see the great Deku Shield, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Eh, uh, what's that? Oh, you have a Deku Shield, and what's that? Is that the Gokiri Sword? Ah, oh, good grief. Well, even though I was doing the maid, oh, well, I never accept you as one of us. This guy's a bully. Shoot, how are you going to be the favorite Sari in the great Deku Tree? Huh, grumble, grumble. I don't think people say grumble, grumble. Yeah. Well, I can go in there now, guys. Yeah, you can't if you don't have a sword and shield. So, I would recommend getting a sword and shield. Because you need one. Later, losers. No, okay. Oh, well, we'll see you guys next episode when we will confront the first dungeon in our Zelda game.